Did you know that God considers marriage to be such an important subject that in the Bible he introduces marriage in the very first chapter? And then in the second chapter, God gives us a detailed description of what marriage is. And then God proceeds to put the first two people that he creates right into a marriage relationship. It's obvious that God really cares about marriage. Hi, my name is Greg Robinson, and we've been looking at walking with Jesus Christ. This is the first of a three-part series on marriage and the family. In this video, we ask the question, can the Bible help me make my marriage better? There's a lot of different ideas about what makes a marriage successful, and many books have been written on the subject. But there's one book that is superior to all others, one book that's the ultimate authority on marriage, because it's written by the designer of marriage himself. And that book is the Bible. We're going to spend a few minutes looking at God's design for marriage. We're told that God created Adam before he created Eve. And that for a time, Adam was all alone. Let's read about this in Genesis chapter 2 and verse 18. The Lord God said, It's not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper fit for him. So God wanted to make a helper that was fit or suitable for Adam. Now, for me, this verse brings up an important question. What was the woman going to help the man with? Well, in Genesis chapter 1, we read about the mission that God gave to Adam and Eve. Genesis 1 verse 28 says, And God blessed them, he blessed Adam and Eve, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth, and subdue it. Now we know from other verses in the Bible that God wasn't just telling them to fill the earth with people. They were supposed to fill the earth with people who followed God's direction. Numbers chapter 14 makes that clear to us. Verse 21, it says, but truly as I live, all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord. Now what does it mean to fill the earth with God's glory? It's filling the earth with people who bring glory to God by obeying him. And filling the earth with people who glorify God is a common theme found throughout the Bible. The Bible has a name for the world filled with godly people. The Bible calls it the kingdom. And Christ mentions the kingdom over and over again in his preaching. In fact, Christ tells us that when we pray, we ought to say, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. So the mission that God gave to Adam and Eve was to develop godly people to fill the earth. And the work that God has given to men and women is to develop godly people. Now that's a really lofty mission. But that's why God created marriage. That's the why for marriage. And knowing the why for marriage makes a big difference in the marriage relationship. So let's consider God's design for marriage. It's a framework for developing godly people. And its purpose is to help a husband and a wife to become godly people. To help them raise their children to become godly people. And to help with the people that they meet to develop them into godly people as well. So developing godly people is God's mission statement for marriage. That's something that the world completely misses out on. Consider man's design for marriage. Again, we have a husband, a wife, and often children, and people that they meet and come into their lives. But the focus of marriage is different. It's happiness, it's success, it's pleasure. All are important, but they're not what God designed marriage to be. They're not what God designed as the primary focus, and they're missing the purpose that God intended. You see, when marriage is focused on developing godly people, that purpose becomes a powerful glue that holds the husband and wife together. Have you heard the phrase, the two shall become one flesh? Yeah, we've all heard that phrase, haven't we, at at weddings that we've been to. Well, it's the working together for one purpose that makes us one. The Apostle Paul tells us something about marriage that I find really helpful, and it really expands our view of marriage. 
In Ephesians chapter 5, in verse 31, Paul says, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. He quotes this right from the book of Genesis. He continues, This mystery is profound. Paul says, I'm talking about Christ and the church. Paul's telling us that God created marriage in a very deliberate way. He created marriage to foreshadow the mission of Christ and his bride. And Paul says, that's really profound. So God created marriage to give us a glimpse of the relationship of Christ and his church. Paul's telling us then that the husband represents Christ and the wife represents his church or believers and that they are joined together to become one. Now, what's the mission of Christ and believers? Developing godly people. So God created marriage to help us to understand the relationship Christ would have with believers. Let's look at an example of this. We're going to look at the work that Christ, the husband, gave to his disciples, the bride, before he left them to go to heaven. And we're going to look at Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16, and we'll look at verses 15 and 20. And he said to them, Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. Christ says to them, Go out and develop godly people. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? It's fantastic. And what did they do? Verse 20, they went out and they preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the message by accompanying signs. Jesus Christ and the people who are his bride have the same job as God gave husbands and wives. Now we started this session with a question. Can the Bible help me make my marriage better? Absolutely it can. Marriage is not just about happiness, success, or pleasure. Marriage is about two people helping each other in God's work. And when we understand that, it will make our marriage better. In our next video, we'll look at how God's framework for marriage helps to make a marriage successful. Mm -hmm.